More on how Germans view the Greek crisis. We're joined by Ferdinand Fitchner. Fitner, he is uh, in Berlin. He's the head of macroeconomic policy at DIW. This is the German Institute here for economic research. Uh, Ferdinand, good to see you. It's difficult, isn't it, to overstate the anger the Germans feel about potentially bailing out Greece again? I don't know. I think it takes it a bit far. It's actually one newspaper you just ref referred to um, and I would say the the perception the general public I wouldn't call it anger there is probably some amount of skepticism about the situation in Greece but I wouldn't call it anger in the overall si the overall situation uh, but surely the Greeks have been vilified in the press in Germany talk about how the Germans are, are having to tighten their belt so that Greeks can retire early and, and take long vacations. There is anger, isn't there? There is skepticism, I want to say. I think it's, it's, really, it's really one newspaper which is bullying against Greece. I think the rest of the media in Germany are relatively, uh, well, n not, so, not so excessively um, skeptic as the Bild Zeitung. But, um, of course, the, the German population is worried about the situation in Greece. We see people going on the street in Athens and we wonder whether this is really a situation where we want to send the money to or whether it's better to stay out of this business. Now, Angela Merkel has had a very difficult choice here. She faces elections in 2013. She could do what's politically expedient and uh, require bondholders to take part. Or she could do what's best for Germany and the EU. She's put in a, in a difficult spot here. How has she handled it in terms of how she sold things to the German public? To my impression, she hasn't handled it very well. I think the German public doesn't really understand the problem um, of Greece. I think it, it, it could be actually conveyable to the public that the situation in Greece is difficult and that... Uh, introducing bailout packages can actually uh, buy us some time. I actually personally think, and most economists share this view to my impression, uh, that a default in Greece is in the long run unavoidable. But um, this is also something that could be told to the public, that we need more time to, uh, to make the rules for this, kind of bail, uh, for this kind of default. And during this time, we have, have to help the country, because otherwise it, it will uh, kill financial markets in Europe. Well, why not just tell the public that actually this is a bailout of European banks, uh, German banks amongst the biggest holders of Greek debt here? I wouldn't say so, actually. I mean, the... the uh, exposure of, Ger of the German banking system to Greek government debt is probably around 20 billion euro. That's a fair amount of money, but it's not so much that it would really uh, shake the, the German banking system. So in a sense, it's, it's more a question of the, the European banking system as a total. Of course, you can tell people that, but it doesn't sound nicely. Right? It's, it's, I think it's still easier to sell to the public that you save a country than to save a bank. And this is exactly what, what German politicians are actually doing right now. All right, Ferdinand Fitchner, he is from the German Institute for Economic Research, joined, joining us from Berlin. Thanks very much, Ferdinand.